let us take some questions on humanoid. Some numerical problems so that the principles of working of human eye may be easy to understand. The first question, <clears throat> what kind of lens is present in the human eye? As you know, this is the convex lens. The answer is convex lens. Why? Because you have read this is retina periapigram this is your cornea here the light enters light rays enters let me take the parallel rays so what happens this will be the screen this is the retina this will be the screen so how the image will be formed? This, there is a convex lens which will convert the rays and the rays will reach and focus at this screen. The image will be formed here at the retina. So this is the convex lens. If you think it is a con concave lens, then what happens? If here is a con concave lens so when the light ray will enter this will go in this direction so this will not make an image so this is a very small question you know much about the human eye so the lens present in the human eye is convex lens second question very small question be attentive name two parts of eye which refract light rays or bend light rays. Same thing, refraction or bending. What the refraction does, what the lens does? So two parts are, the first part are, is this one, this bulged portion cornea. This also refracts uh, the part of the eye which is in front of uh, your eye, the front portion of the eye, eyeball. This is cornea. So number one is answer is number one. Refraction take place first at cornea and second the lens, eye lens. Okay, name the parts of the eye first, which controls the amount of light entering the eye. So, count the part, hai? which <coughs> controls the amount of eye. Suppose you go in the bright light from your room, are you light uh, uh, high capacity bulb these are dazzling light so this is iris iris the answer is iris what happens this is your eyeball suppose you are looking from perpendicular to the board and this is your eye this is your eye and this is your eyeball so you see here pupil okay. around the pupil there is a part we will draw separate this is iris this is the aperture okay. you take this thickness this is iris so what happens when it contracts then this portion this area from which the light enters. It may be small and as requirement of the, as per requirement, 
of the light. If it is dazzling light, high intensity light, then it becomes less. So what happens? This breath increases and this becomes this much. This opening becomes this much. And this breath becomes this. This is iris. It can be contracted and expanded. So this is the iris. Answer is iris. Iris controls the amount of light. And one thing more. This is a very small question. But what happens? When you enter in a dark room or when you go into the cinema in a cinema hall, when you reach inside the hall, you are unable to see the seats or other person sitting there. But after some times, you can see the things in dim light. Why? This is the time taken by the iris to adjust itself, to <coughs> adjust the opening. This is the opening at the first and you go in the dim light, then this opening becomes white. Yeah, around this iris, iris contracted, makes it better with small. So side by side, I will tell you something particular. Now second one, name the part, part on which the image is formed. So image is formed on the screen and the screen of the eye is called retina. Image is formed at retina. Image is formed at retina. <coughs> C part hai question ka. Tisra bhaag hai question ka. Which changes the focal length of eye lens? Which changes the focal length of the eye lens? What happens? <coughs> These are ciliary muscles. Your length, this is your eye lens. This is here connected with here are ciliary muscles. So what happens? These muscles, these are ciliary muscles, they can press the lens. So the thickness of the lens increases and this point comes here. Yeah. Lens shortens and its thickness increases. Thickness increases means thick lens has uh, less by lower value of focal length. If this is focal length of this is f and focal length of this is f dash, so f dash is less than f. Chota hoga is ki focal length. In this way, it adjusts the focal length. This is the normal position of the lens, and the lens can reduce its focal length. It becomes thick. It is pressed by these muscles. Ciliary. Ciliary. C I E L I A R Y. Ciliary. Muscles, M E V S, C I E S, ciliary muscles. Eye lens के दोनों तरफ लगी होती हैं और this lens is made of a thick jelly protein. The material is protein and it is flexible, so it can be thickened or made thick or made thin. Now the next question. What is the name of Number one, the curved transparent front surface of the eye. The front, the front portion of eyeball. This is cornea. You know, this is extra bulge. This is the circle of eye. Eyeball. So here at the front is sometimes thrown as rather extra bulge portion cornea this is called this portion is called cornea c o r n i d cornea now <coughs> 
the light sensitive layer in the eye the light sensitive layer in the eye retina retina mein do type ki cell hoti hai there are two types of cell in retina retina cells lining hoti hai one is called rods and other is called cones the rods सेंसिटिव टू डिम लाइट एंड द इंटेस्टी इंटेस्टी ऑफ लाइट लुक्स आफ्टर बाय द रॉड्स एंड कॉन्स sensitive to colors sensitive to colors there are some people has the eye defect the color blindness they don't see clearly the distinct colors alag alag color nahi hue iski khoj tab hui thi jab train ka accident ho gaya ड्राइवर से पूछताछ हुई ड्राइवर वाज इंट्रोगेट इंट्रोगेटेड एंड ही सेड दैट नो द सिग्नल वाज नॉट रेड सो वी डिड नॉट स्टॉप इसलिए मैं ट्रेन नहीं रोका सिग्नल रेड नहीं था इसलिए मैं ट्रेन लेके आ गया और आगे दूसरी ट्रेन में टकरा गई बाद में जब टेस्ट हुआ तो पता चला ये भी डिफेक्ट होता है इसमें देर इज ए डिफेक्ट कॉन्ट कलर ब्लाइंडनेस कलर ब्रांडनेस में होता है जो मेन कलर होते हैं जिसे आर वाई बी रेड येलो ब्लू वैसे तो सेवन कलर्स होते हैं बट दीज आर प्राइमरी थ्री कलर्स आर वाई बी तो द पर्सन आई इज नॉट एबल टू डिस्टिंग दीज कलर्स क्लियरली so the this defect was came to know known in this way uh, where is the next question where is the image formed in human eye image is formed dekho main bata raha hu image kahan banti hai This is the eye lens. Suppose this is focal lens, focal point. This two f. This is f dash. This is two f dash. This is principal axis. Suppose here is a object, and this parallel lens. It's called upper lens. Parallel lens. This after refraction pass from the focus, and this from the optical center passing. This will cut here. Image will be here. Now what happens? This distance is fixed for the human eye. For a particular eye, the distance is fixed. Lens or eyeball fixed है. Fixed structure eye का है. So this is the this is A dash B dash. Suppose this is called retina. This is for the this is the retina. Image is formed at retina. So this is called retina. पे बनता है. Retina is the screen of the eye. हमेशा ही बनता है चाहे जहाँ हो. When wherever you put the uh, object, yeah. what's our object you see the object is at varying distance from your eye but the you see it clearly how it is possible because 
this is fixed, V is fixed, this is the distance of object from the lens, V is fixed and <coughs> U is varying, so F will be varying. God has gifted us with a flexible lens, eye lens, so it can change its focal length. So, why? so it is possible in this way that you can see clearly that all the images are formed on the retina. But you see the image here. This is A dash. This is the image. We call it say A dash or here is B dash. A or B image. A and B. It is erect position. This is inverted. So image is formed at retina and image is formed inverted as compared to object. But how we see that everything uh, in erect position, in right position, we don't see a person head upside down. His head jo hai, earth ke pa, earth par ho, aur pair ho par ho, aisa nahi hai. Because our this signal goes to our mind and our mind analyzes and this is decided by the though the image form is inverted but our mind see mind see it as erect Okay, so the question was where the image is formed, the image is formed at retina and this is the expression what I what has been discussed that the image is formed inverted, real and inverted but we, our mind analyzes it and sees it as correct. Now, Uh, next question, next question is, what is the function of the lens in the human eye? What is the function of lens in the human eye? To converge the rays of the refraction and focus it on the retina every time by adjusting its focal length. Means, lens becomes sometimes thin, sometimes thick. When it is thick, this focal length is uh, on the value of f is less, the lower value of focal length. Next question, what job does the pupil of the eye do? You know it is very simple, answer yourself. How does the eye adjust to take account of an increase in brightness? Brightness means more concentrated light is entering into your eyes. So, this is the opening through which the light, uh, light enters. So, this openings is made less, the area of opening made less, means these are the iris, which suppose you see this the front portion of the, in the normal way. This is the whole eye hall. So here are the ciliary muscles. These are ciliary muscles. 
this is the opening this is the opening these muscle sometimes extend come up to here this comes up to here the opening becomes this much opening is reduced what happens sometimes opening is this much and sometimes opening is when the light is very bright very concentrated light the opening is reduced so light enters from this much area this area so how it becomes more or less the area becomes more or less how because due to ciliary, ciliary muscles uh, no, due to iris sorry iris due to iris this is iris sorry this is iris iris yeah see the iris in front of this just like a hollow disc this is opening and this is the iris So what happens? The shaded portion can increase, can elongate or contract. So what happens? When it elongates, this becomes this much. The opening becomes less. Now this elongates. This shaded portion increases. This stretches. This is a hollow disc, and this portion can stretch and contract. So when this stretches this opening becomes less so when there is in intense light so this is our opening and when the light is dim so the iris becomes contracted so this becomes the opening the openings become large and this this decided portion this contracted and this becomes thin so a larger area is available to enter the light. So this is iris, the function of iris to control the amount of light. Which part of the eye contains cells which are sensitive to light? These are retina. Name two types of cell in retina of eye which respond to light. These are you have read. These are rods and cones. Let us take some other type of questions. Uh, why is normal eye not able to see clearly the objects placed closer than 25 centimeters? Very interesting question. If this is your extra welding, you can see extra welding. Cornea, and here is your lens. Your lens is connected to ciliary muscles, and here are these are eyes. So it controls the this area. From which the light enters can change. What is the question? Uh, why is a normal eye not able to see clearly the objects placed closer than 25 centimeters? Yes. Suppose this the lens. What how the image is formed? You know. This is a what happens? This, there is an image. Oh, no. Uh, it is here. The, this goes from here. And this goes from here. 
get the images from what happens that this distance u if u is decreased beyond 25 cm what the this distance distance i se lo to yahan se le lo and the but a reference point from the lens the distance of the object from the eye what happens if you go if you make the value of u less and less and less so what should be the focal length of the lens so that image can be formed at retina because this distance is fixed v is fixed so your lens becomes thick and thick if you your uh, u is decreased if your u is suppose it is here far from this point what happens this goes and uh, this goes and from the image here but if you decrease this you take this object on this side so your lens should be able to bend the uh, rays more extra bending is required as you make the object towards shift towards the eye the value of f should be less and less mid lens should be thicker and thicker thickness of the lens should increase kaun so capability of lens capability of lens to adjust to change or adjust its focal length isko kya kehte hain एकमोडेशन ऑफ पावर एकमोडेशन ऑफ पावर ऑफ लेंस तो एकमोडेशन हैज गॉट ए लिमिट सो लेंस कैन नॉट चेंज इट्स फोकल फोकस लेंस बियॉन्ड ए लिमिट सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ इज ऑल्सो हैज गॉट ए लिमिट तो दिस इज द लिमिट ऑफ यू means distance of object from your eye and this is found 25 cm if to see the object clearly the value of u should be 25 cm if you make the value of u less than 25 cm means if you take the image you see the thing which is at a distance less than 25 cm what will happen the image will form before retina a sharp image will be not received at the retina a blurred image will be received so you cannot see clearly the object distinct vision this is called 25 cm is called the distance of distinct vision least distance of distinct vision मतलब पावर शार इमेज द वैल्यू ऑफ यू शुड नॉट बी लेस देन ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर यू शुड बी ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस इज कॉल्ड लीस्ट डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टिंग विजन एल ई एस टी लीस्ट कम से कम लीस्ट डिस्टेंस और एन ह्यूमन आई लीस्ट डिस्टेंस of distinct vision this is also got a second name near point n e r near point similarly there is if it is uh, here is a near point then other one is also far point far point is very far off point very greater value of u 
that is infinity we see the objects very far from us like sun and moon okay what changes take place in the shape of islands the thickness of the islands can change the lens can become thick it is made up of jelly like material protein jelly like protein so its thickness can change and in technical terms in optical terms we see we say that the lens changes its focal length the focal length of a thick lens is less and focal length of a thin lens is more is greater so lens can change its focal length in optical terms and thickness in physical terms uh, what changes take place in the shape of eye lens there are two parts when the eye is focused on a near object the near object focus karega so the lens requires to bend the uh, incoming rays more after refraction so the thickness will increase first when we see the near object and when the eye is focused on distant object the thickness the lens become thin by focal length it is required that focal length should be more the eye of a person are focused number 1 on a nearby object number 2 on a distant object turn by turn in which case the focal length of eye lens will be maximum focal length will be maximum in second case this is the lens this is the retina eye lens this is the retina this distance is fixed from the lens parabola 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by u now this is fixed when your u will decrease your f will also decrease for formation of image for a constant v suppose yes this parabola tells you mathematically in physically you can see when your object is near to this is object and one is very far this is also what happens <coughs> this goes from f some more distance and this goes here the image is found at a rating here but what about this from the same distance eh, this is the parallel lens this is the object here in distant field so second ray will pass from here so this will cut here so how this point will reach here when the lens has a greater focal length when this ray this this ray is going from here so this ray if we have a large focal length this should reach here so this instead of this focal length the focal length should be this here f should be here and then only 
the image will be formed at an angle. So for a distance at larger side, for greater view, the focal lens should be less. U into F is equal to constant. Ye yaad rakhiye. Yeah, not in this way. Yes, if one is, this is less value. No, 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 no. u by f is equal to constant. The value of u is less, the value of f should be less. The value of f is greater, then f should be greater. So u by f, ratio. The ratio of u, uh, distance of object from the lens and focal length of the lens should be constant. For v, is equal to constant given by u of v is fixed so this you if you remember this formula then you can answer easily this type of question if u is less the f should be less so that the image formed at v is fixed and if u is more then f should be here you see that if u is more the your f should be What change is made in the eye to enable it to focus on objects situated at different distances? Illustrate your answer with the help of diagram. Now we have made the diagram for the different value of u. The different values of distance of object from your eyes. Different distances of object from your eyes. The lens will change its focus accordingly and the image will be formed by the retina. What happens to the eye when you enter a dark cinema hall? We have answered, we have discussed it already that when we enter a cinema hall, there is a very dim light, very, very dim light inside the hall and outside it is bright sunlight. So when we enter into the hall, what will happen? The opening, this uh, iris, uh, the position of iris when we are in the bright light, the opening is this much. And we require this much opening. So our iris will adjust the opening area for entrance of light. So there is a dim light, so more area is required for same amount of light so what happens this iris takes some time to adjust so for some seconds 10 seconds uh, 15 or uh, 20 seconds after 20 seconds of entering the hall uh, we start seeing the things at first we cannot see the people sitting on in the hall or we cannot see the seats but after a few seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, uh, that our iris takes to make the aperture white. How the amount of light entering the eye control? So this is discussed. Why does it take some time to see objects in dim room? Because our iris takes some time to stretch or contract. A person walking in a dark corridor enters in a brightly lit room. State the effect on the pupil of the eye. The pupil contracts, it's the opening. Pupil means the opening area 
from which the light is entering means the area you see from the front so this is our iris this area this area is just like thin stretchable hollow disc and this shaded portion is called iris and this is pupil this area this opening area from which this always see just black why because light no light the light which enters into it is not reflected by it so the pupil is seen pupil pupil is seen black just a black hole pupil black because the light which enters inside is not reflected by it. so we see it black how does this affect the amount of light entering the eye same thing the iris adjusts the opening the pupil widens the area from which light enters becomes more uh, when we enter into the bright light it becomes less ciliary muscles of human eye can contract or relax yes how does it help in normal functioning of the eye it helps in changing the thickness of the lens in turn the thickness means when the thickness increases the focal length becomes less so it helps in changing the focal length of the eye lens thicker the lens lower the value of f thinner the lens higher the value of f describe explain describe and explain next question how a normal eye can see object lying at various distances clearly same thing your v is fixed the distance between the lens eye lens and the retina is fixed and if you see the objects which are at different distances from your eye you need the focal length be changed accordingly so that the image is formed at the screen on the retina so you can describe it by using the formula of lens this formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f rods and cones in the retina of an eye why is our eye uh, why is our night vision relatively poor compared to night vision of an owl oh, very interesting <laughs> our night vision is poor when the human eye is compared with the eye of an owl what happens the owl eye has got a larger opening this is pupil and this iris very iris becomes very thin this is the stretchable this is iris around the eye and what happens 
when this is the pupil of this has a very great area large area and when the owl sees the daytime what happens this opening becomes a nest and okay this is the i yellow yellow portion you see the yellow color now the opening is this much in bright light only this much opening only this much area pupil is required for the owl to see in the bright light but in the dim light it can change the opening this area it can make this pupil so large but for the human eye uh, this capacity this amount of opening is not varied in such amount so the night region is poor of human eye is poor <clears throat> how does the convex eye lens differ from the ordinary convex lens made of glass yes the glass is a fixed material this is not flexible our eye lens is made up of a jelly like substance a thick jelly so the thickness of the eye lens can vary with the help of ciliary muscles as per requirement of the object to see some more questions today i will focus on very small questions for your practice so that the function of eye you can understand it there the human eye forms the image on an object at its where there are four things are given where the image is formed cornea iris pupil retina where the image is formed on retina okay the image is formed on retina the change of let us move first the change in focal length of eye lens is caused by the action of the number 1 pupil number 2 retina number 3 ciliary muscles number 4 iris how the lens thickness of lens changes it is changed with the help of ciliary muscles by contraction and relaxation of ciliary muscles the least distance of distinct vision for a young adult with normal vision is about how much 2.5 meter 2.5 cm 25 meter or 25 cm it is 25 cm refraction light in the eye occurs at refraction where the refraction occurs at two places at cornea the bulge portion the front portion of eye ball cornea c o r n e a cornea number 1 and number 2 lens on to focus the image of a nearby object on the retina of an eye nearby object not far off object is from a uh, short distance from our eye the distance between eye lens and retina is increased no no this is the fixed structure the distance between eye lens and retina is increased not possible 
your eyes the structure of your eye is fixed dimension of our eyeball is fixed so this is not true the distance between eye lens and retina is decreased no not possible not increased not decreased retina aur uske beech mein eye lens ke beech mein distance eye lens does not travel the thickness of the eye lens is decreased no not decreased if the thickness will decrease the focal length will be more and it will not bend the the bending of light rays will be less so that they, uh, those will not be focused on the retina for very short distance of object what is the correct thing is the thickness of eye lens is increased yes the lens becomes more thick so it bends the light to a, a greater amount as per requirement focus on the retina the term accommodation is applied to the eye refers to its ability to chalo ye definition ho jayegi ability to what is accommodation control the light intensity falling on the retina no erect the inverted device formed on the retina no vary the focal length of the lens s this is the accommodation what accommodation what what is accommodated by changing the focal length the value of v is always accommodated it is fixed so if when you see the objects at different distances from your eye the focal length of eye lens is changed in such a way that image is always formed on the retina the image is always formed on the retina uh, next which of the following controls the amount of light entering the eye iris the human eye possesses the power of accommodation this is the power to oh just in previous question when we have accommodation power of accommodation the ability to change the focal length of the eye lens how does the eye change in order to focus on near or distant objects four parts the lens moves in or out no the retina moves in or out no the lens becomes thicker or thinner yes and the fourth one was the pupil gets larger or smaller no which of the following changes our uh, changes occur kaun sa change hota when you walk out of bright sunshine into poorly lit room now i stop here okay thank you